Hello. Corncob here, and I have been studying. My books. All of them. Cover to cover. Anyhow. So, for once, I've actually done some off-camera mining, and I believe I kept all of my spoils in my inventory. Pretend that I did not struggle so hard going through that door. So, I should be able to show off everything I got, at least from the mining. Um, yeah, so... 10 raw gold, 11 diamonds, 22 redstone, 20 lapis. Some of that may have actually been before I did the off-camera mining, but hey, uh... I don't remember anymore, so, uh, so today I have two main goals. Uh, the first is to not fall off the bridge, and I've already failed that one. So, my two goals are very similar goals. Uh, <laughs> my first one is to actually enchant probably either my chest plate or a diamond sword, which I will make, or my pickaxe. I don't really know yet, but something. I will enchant something with this enchanting table. And my other goal is to get some librarian villagers set up and trading with some actual decent enchantments. And for that, I'll have to get lecterns built. So that'll be a whole thing. But I think I will get three lecterns set up. Yes, so my goal is three lecterns, three librarian villagers, some kind of good, good enchants and then use the enchanting table. We might even get to use it multiple times if we end up getting enough um, XP from trading with the villagers and all that. So for get in terms of getting the lecterns, I do believe I have just about everything I need for them. Uh, I may w actually, first, uh, I need to clear out my inventory. It is quite stuffed. So I will do that and then I'll make the lecterns. So we have our sh our leather, our sugar cane, and our wood. And now we have a lectern, a lectern, and a lectern. Now, later on, I do plan to build kind of a town sort of thing to house all the different villagers. With I think I may have mentioned this in my last episode, but like, have a library for the librarians, put farmers in the barn. You know, I definitely mentioned this, so um, you get the point, I'll move on. For now, I'm just going to have the villagers in sort of more of a rudimentary setup. So we're just going to make um, a little dirt hut sort of thing right up here. This will hopefully not be here for very long. I'm going to need more dirt. Uh, you know what? No, this can be a dirt and cobblestone monstrosity, a true noob creation. Now for the fun part, <laughs> actually getting the villagers in. So first things first, I have to get one of the villagers to actually recognize that there is a workstation, and then I have to get him to actually go to the workstation. Aha, okay, we got one. I think those two are trying to get to the workstations. I think that's what's happening. Yep. <sighs> That could have been bad. Okay. I don't know where that guy went, actually. Well, first things first, I gotta get these out of the way so he only goes to the one. How did he disappear so quickly? Did he go back in somehow? Oh, he did. Well, this was on that one. Now he should move, hopefully, to the next one. No, he doesn't. Okay, yes he does. Now, just somebody needs to go out to that one. Perfect, okay. Yes, Mr. Villager, come meet your doom. Oh, well that kind of failed. Uh, see now, the, the, uh, the best course of action here is simply to strong arm him into there. And now, we can start getting to work on making sure that he actually has a decent trade. Which is going to be a fun time. So let's see, what has he got? Oh, I can't tell, can I? Um, 
Because I've seen people do the thing. Oh, luck of the sea. Don't want luck of the sea. So yeah, I guess I'm just going to be here doing this until we get a good one. This may take more steps than I was thinking it would. So if I want to get a lot of emeralds, one of the best ways to do that is by getting farmer villagers and then just getting some really quick method of farming and taking care of things that way. Curse of Vanishing. No thank you. Well, frick, I let him out. And there goes my axe. Okay, come here, Mr. Villager. Don't you want the... Don't you want the workstation? Yep, you sure do. Oh, you gotta get closer than that. You can do it, Mr. Villager. Get in there, buddy. Go. No, oh, gosh darn it. Not again. This guy's gonna get eaten by the zombies, and I'm not gonna feel sorry for him. You know what? I'll just wait for the night to fall, and I'm gonna let him back into this. Yeah, go to sleep. Yeah, this is not going to be quite as simple as I think I was first expecting. So I do believe that the best course of action is going to be to start getting farming villagers upgraded and actually put into the barn considering that we already have the building built. Like we might as well, you know? So I guess I'll just get some little work areas put together. Nothing too fancy, but also nothing that's drab or doesn't fit the rest of the build very well. So this is where the villagers will be held. I am going to go ahead and make composters and then start attracting the villagers into the barn. Uh, just as with the librarians, I will only be able to do two for now and then I'll have to wait for the villagers to multiply it before I can do much more. Now I am going to just block this off and get some dirt to get to actually get the guy pushed into the hole where I want him. And that should be enough for now. And now he will never leave that spot. That is his home forever. And yeah, I am never letting him out. Now for the second one. Come on, my guy. Come on. What is even happening? Thank you. Well, oh, well, uh, I guess we won't have to worry about waiting for villagers. Didn't realize I even had particles on, but if you do, I guess. I don't know if he'll be able to follow it from this far away, but he might. Oh yeah, he's coming. Dang. They got quite the range. Frick. Nope. Gotta make sure he's actually in there. Get in. Get in. Go. No. Why? Why must you do this? Excuse me. Did you just thieve my dirt? Because that is not acceptable behavior. Do you just... <sighs> See, this is the thing about villagers. They're just horrible people. Worse than me, even. It always amuses me when villagers seem to think they're going to get their way. Because they're not. Sir, would you just scooch already? Come on. Now hopefully we'll only have to wait one more night and then we'll have all of, all of the villagers that we are going to need. And now we go and sleep before the mobs start spawning and murder us. So as I wait for the villagers to do their thing, I'll just go right on ahead and collect the iron. Oh wow, that's a lot. I. Uh, 
Guess I can start making iron tools now. But yes, farmer villagers. I will see if we have. Well, I'll I'll see how many child villagers there are. There is not a child villager. That is a little odd. I know what I saw, and I will include it in the recording so you guys can be confused alongside me. But for now, I will just focus on trading up with the other villagers. Yeah, I may want to change this guy's trades, actually. I might have some carrots stored away somewhere, but potatoes are more useful. Okay, at least he has wheat, and this guy also has wheat. I want one with potatoes right off the bat. Okay, that's good enough. I'll go get stuff from my stores and get that all traded up. Why do I have like zero plants? This is just a wonderful time, guys. Am I right? Yeah, uh, I guess I'll check back in after I'm done here then. You know, this is starting to feel a lot less like making a Minecraft YouTube video and more like just playing Minecraft and doing the annoying grindy parts. So I've done two things. I've harvested and replanted the garden, and I've also discovered a brand new method of torture in which you have somebody make Minecraft YouTube videos in a room that has an air conditioner, but they can't turn it on because they don't want it to show up on the microphone. Okay, he takes pumpkins. I should probably start growing pumpkins soon. Wait a second, these guys both trade potatoes? I thought one of them traded wheat. Why must villagers be like this? Like, what is the point, Mojang, okay? Okay, this guy's wheat now, wonderful. Okay, wonderful. Now, what trades do you have, sir? Come on. Okay, he has the exact same trades. Okay. Yeah, that sure is something. I'm getting very quickly tired of these villagers, if you can't tell. And these guys still have not done what I want them to do, so I guess I'll just give them some potatoes and some bread. And in the meantime, I suppose I'll just harvest some sugarcane. Because when you're planning to deal with librarian villagers, there's really no such thing as too much sugarcane. Oh. That's a very distinct sound known as, it's time to move the other villager. Or at least, it's time to move a villager. Actually, I think, we'll, I think it'll be a lot more beneficial to just wait until they make another one. And for that, I'll give them some materials. You gonna... Okay, thank you. Now do the thing. I'll be back. Yeah, it might be quicker to just let them make another one, because if I took the adult, then I would have to wait for the child to grow up before there could be another one. This way, there will hopefully be two children at once, and then I can take the adult, and with any luck, by the time the adult has been put into his forever home, the next child will have grown into an adult, and I'll be able to steal it. Like the kidnapper I am at heart. It's amazing just how many war crimes the average person commits in Minecraft. Still have not made another one. Which is kind of annoying, but also kind of expected, I think. I guess the next reasonable course of action while I wait, considering that I've really done most of the things that I can think of to take up time, I'm going to see if the pumpkin, I remember from way back in like the second episode, if it's still back here, I may have, I probably harvested it. I, I probably almost definitely, yep, probably almost definitely. Yeah, I think that thing's gone. So, uh, I will start a pumpkin farm so I can actually trade pumpkins with those other villagers. 
Yep, there's pumpkins in here. And pumpkin seeds, actually. I'll probably just go right on ahead with the pumpkin seeds. Now, there are two kinds of pumpkin farms you can make. An aesthetically pleasing one and an actually useful one. And, um, I think I know which one I'm going to go with, considering that I'm trying to get things done quickly. I definitely need a shovel if I'm going to do this. I might as well take down this monstrosity. I doubt it's going to have any use anytime soon. But yeah, I foresee a lot more off-camera things in the future. Because villagers are just tedious. They take time. And it's annoying. And I just want to get it done with while I'm not recording. And then we can do the fun things during the recording. Because that way, I can actually have my air conditioner on, and that will be a very wonderful change of pace. I made a slight miscalculation now that I'm looking at actually what I have here. But it shouldn't be terribly difficult to correct. And now for the part we've all been waiting for. Planting the pumpkins. I'll just do them like this for now, considering that it's going to be a little while till I get much of anything out of them. But I can bone meal them. Oh, okay, this is going far more quickly than I was expecting, actually. I think that's a pretty good spot to end the video. And yeah, we didn't meet either of our goals, but they're kind of more overarching goals at this point, and I think I have enough content for an episode, which is really all you need to have at once. And I'm also sweating like a pig here, and I need to cool off. <laughs> so, um, we'll just carry these goals right on over to next episode. And for now, thanks for stopping by and watching me play Minecraft. See you guys next week. Bye!